If you're managing subscribers, there's a number of ways that you can make or create a bunch of subscribers and edit and modify a bunch of subscribers at once. And this is the range and template edits as well as import export. So that's what we're going to take a look at in this video. If you just want to create a mailbox, it's actually fairly simple. You can just right click, add a subscriber. Typically you can pick a, a subscriber class of service if you like. A subscriber class of service is basically a template. As a matter of fact, let's take a peek at that right now. So if we look at a mailbox class of service, what we see is uh, people that are uh, assigned to this class of service. And then other than that, it looks exactly like a subscriber mailbox with the exception of things that would be unique to a subscriber, such as the name, um, extension numbers and stuff like that. Anything that is unique to a subscriber, you'll see that already grayed out. So when you're adding a mailbox, it, it's helpful if you build a class of service or if you're using one, that way it saves you the effort of having to, to put in all the configurations. Although you don't need to, you can just simply press add or actually go to subscriber, add, give it a mailbox number and a name. At this point, the mailbox will just work. I mean, on the main screen here, you have everything you're going to need that has to deal with this subscriber. You have whatever switch they belong to. If they have multiple switches, uh, whether or not they get MWI, you could put in a mobile phone here. Now the mobile phone actually is just a device. Um, you'll see it's created a, a, that device from what I put in the important public numbers here. You don't have to worry about nearly anything else here. Um, it will assign a security code by default. Um, if you forgot to use a class of service, you can select it here and then apply it. It tells you what all is different about this one or this mailbox. I can just say update subscriber, accept. And then my class of service has been applied. Once I've done that, the mailbox is now created. To delete a subscriber, you just simply right click delete or press the delete button and they will go away. One thing that's important though, is if they sponsor somebody, you will see how should anything that has to do with this mailbox, the sponsored mailboxes or mailboxes that are, how should the mailboxes that this subscriber sponsors be dealt with? Should they be deleted, which is the default. Remember, if you delete this guy now, everything that he sponsors will be deleted as well. I can say reassign it to somebody or I can say leave it but release the sponsorship. I'll press escape and just get out of that. I don't need to be I don't need to be ruining this mailbox right now. So if I want to create mailboxes in a range, I simply go mailbox range create. And here I can assign a class of service for this as well or I can say no class of service. Um, either or, and then I can go back and just simply either apply the class of service or I can change them in any way, shape or form. So I have to put in the first name and then press OK. And my mailboxes are created. Now I have to go back and change the name of every mailbox. So this is where range edit comes in handy. If I click shift click or control click highlight edit and then put names in every one of these. So I could just press OK display name Clark George press OK. I'm given the next one. And then if I'm, I'm not going to do all of them, I'll just cancel out of that so you can at least see the ones that I've done. I can do that same step by saying mailbox range edit and then put in the mailbox numbers here and it will step me through the same exact type of operation. If I wanted to change something about these mailboxes, 
I could sit, select one of the ones I want, select template, put in the range of mailboxes and my template mailbox, and I can switch this template mailbox anytime. And now when I change one thing, let me take them out of the directory or something simple like that and make a few changes. Press OK. And then I've modified all 10 of those mailboxes now to have that setting. 